It's earthquake, wake up, please. Everybody didn't know what to do. It is so horrible. Hello, my friends. As you know, in Turkey, there was a really big earthquake. And today we are going to tell you about seismic resistance in Northern Cyprus and if it is safety to buy property here. What is more, I will tell you about earthquake in Northern Cyprus because on the 6th of February there also was earthquake. And I felt everything on myself because in this complex there also was earthquake. Now we are in Caesar Resort and in this complex people felt earthquake because I read different messages in social media and most people who live in Northern Cyprus who messaged that they felt earthquake were from Caesar Resort. And I also live here and I want to describe you what we felt. At 3 o'clock in the morning I woke up because my husband told me it's earthquake, wake up please. And uh, I didn't know what to do so I just put on my coat and we went out. So we were in the street. Many people also went out from their homes and we didn't understand what is happening because there were a lot of cars and they drove away. At that time we didn't know what happened in Turkey and at this time we also draw away from this place to a field because I know that in fields it is more safety. After that we opened chat of our complex, of Complex Caesar Resort and many people sent news that there was earthquake in Turkey. Everybody didn't know what to do, what to, to wait for, but we decided to go back home and during night everything was calm but it wasn't possible to go to sleep because you, we were really nervous because we read news about Turkey, about damaged buildings. And after that, about 12 o'clock in the afternoon, we felt something wrong. And it was the second earthquake because in Turkey at that time there also was earthquake. And after that, everything was calm, but people were really nervous. And I want to say that you should know that it is rather safety here. Of course, there are earthquakes, but they are very rare. And I want to mention that buildings are safe here, because when people build these buildings, they know that earthquakes are possible. So in this way, they build really good. Our company expresses condolences to people and victims in Turkey and the whole country. Of course, in Northern Cyprus everything is good, there is no damages in victims, but in Turkey it is so horrible and we feel sorry, we feel very bad. And I'm happy because people who live in Cyprus, native people from here and people from other countries, they help a lot, so they buy different things and spend them to Turkey. It is very important. They also go to hospitals and give their blood. And if you live in Northern Cyprus and you want to help, you need just to open different chats in social media. And in these chats you will find locations of places where you can help people. And now we will have interview with owner of our company. His name is Alex Surkov and he will tell us about seismic resistance in Northern Cyprus and about buildings, so how they built here. My friends, now we will speak with Alexander. He's owner of company Surkon Estate and he will tell us different details about earthquakes in Northern Cyprus and about buildings here. Hello, Alex. Hello, Lilia. Hello, guys. So please, can you tell me about earthquakes in Northern Cyprus? So is it usually often or not? So actually in Northern Cyprus, it's uh, unusual uh, to have earthquakes, but um, already three years uh, we have earthquakes uh, every February. I don't know why exactly in February, but two years ago it was approximately 10 seconds, uh, around uh, three degree it was shaking. Then uh, one year ago, it was also in February, approximately 20 seconds, up around three and a five, four degree. And this year it was around 4.7. Uh, uh, also in February, it was like three days ago. 
what about buildings here? So when they build, do they think about it so that there can be earthquake? So right. what about materials? Of course, the developers, they use materials and uh, structure for the building, which is uh, prepared for the tectonical activity in Cyprus. And uh, um, they're using experience of Dubai, Japan, uh, because in the worst scenario, uh, they understand that uh, two, three, up to eight degree, it could be uh, shaking in Cyprus. So because of that, they're using uh, systems uh, which will make this earthquake uh, not so uh, Dam damaging. D damaging for the for the buildings, right? Guys, um, three days ago, it was a disaster in Turkey in Gaziantep. Uh, a lot of people uh, who work and live in Cyprus has uh, uh, families in Gaziantep and for Cyprus it's a big tragedy. So we apologize uh, as a company and also um, me as a person, uh, we apologize uh, for this um, big tragedy and uh, we hope that all the people uh, will be safe and uh, they will find uh, uh, their families and uh, most part of the people will be alive and everything will be fine. So again, our company and me personally, uh, we apologize uh, about this strategy tr and we help to uh, Turkey families who has a problem now. We give money to the phones uh, which uh, opening now and also we give a warm cloth uh, and some of uh, some people from our company also give a blood uh, to the persons who need it. In Cyprus at this moment uh, we are in safe. Uh, it was just uh, small shaking but there is no any uh, problem with the people, no problem with the uh, buildings. So we was a bit afraid, not more than. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alex, for answering my questions. So, guys, please take care of yourself. And now we need to say goodbye. Bye-bye.